This week, we're talking Boba Fett, Boba Fett, and more Boba Fett. We really should just rename the show This Week in Boba Fett. Yes! Finally! First day back. Okay, let's see if I remember how this goes. Let's Star to the wars, no. Let's, Boba the Fett, so close. Okay, I can do this. Let's get to the news. Nailed it. It's almost time to add another volume to the old Star Wars art bookshelf. And today we have some exclusive new concept designs to share from inside the art of The Mandalorian season two. In these never before seen spreads, here's your first look at Ahsoka Tano's transformation ahead of her live action debut. We've also got a glimpse at Bo-Katan and Koska Reeves concepts. Designs for bringing Boba Fett back into the action and Fennec Shand back from near death. And the massive 151 foot long crate dragon. Look at the size of that thing. You want to see the five stages of the Razor Crest damage on the mission to Trask and Grogu making friends wherever he goes? Well, here you go. But wait, you didn't think we were going to introduce the art of the Mandalorian season two and not show you Grogu eating things. Grogu in a bowl of soup. And also cookies. And cookies. And more cookies. Oh no, that was that was too many cookies, little guy. Plus, with art from all eight chapters of the story, you know there had to be concept designs from the rescue, including this glorious moment when a mysterious Jedi slashes his way through a dark trooper like Space Butter. Who could it be? For a closer look at these spreads and a brand new interview with author Phil Showstack, slash your way to StarWars.com slash This Week Now. It's a new year, and that means new stories in Star Wars The High Republic. To celebrate the first anniversary, last week, our friend Christina Ariel sparkled her way through a special episode of Star Wars The High Republic show, alongside all five Luminous authors. Among the big reveals, we learned the next phase of storytelling will leap back in time 150 years and include the tale of a young Porter Engel in a new Marvel comic series. You can watch the special for yourself and read up on these reveals and more over on StarWars.com slash This Week Now. And don't forget, a new episode of The High Republic Show is coming at you very soon, so get your questions in using the hashtag THRSQuestions. While The High Republic explores the past, we're looking ahead to the future. Recently, Disney, Lucasfilm, and FIRST announced their continued collaboration to bring more hands-on learning and mentorship to youth. The new campaign, Build the Future, powered by Star Wars Force for Change, will give FIRST teams around the world an opportunity to amplify their unique stories as thinkers, innovators, and forces for good. For more on the program, head to StarWars.com slash This Week right now. Let's draw Star Wars is back, baby! Earlier this week, Star Wars Kids debuted a brand new season back at the drawing board with our friend, Sarah Bermudez. Kicking off season three, we learned to draw the dented helmet of the one, the only, Boba Fett. Pick up a pen or pencil and scribble your way to StarWarsKids.com now for the full step-by-step -step tutorial. And speaking of Boba Fett, last month brought us the premiere of The Book of Boba Fett on Disney+. Plus. Now. In the interest of keeping you spoiler-free, we're only going to talk about the first two chapters in the series. But if you haven't seen them yet, go ahead and skip ahead to the timestamp below. Okay, I think they're gone. In Chapter 1, Stranger in a Strange Land, we finally learned what happened after Boba found himself inside the belly of the Sarlacc Pit. It only took about 40 years of patiently waiting. Beautifully told through Bacta-induced dream sequences, the story flipped between present-day Boba laying claim to Jabba the Hutt's throne alongside Fennec Shand and Boba of the Past, dealing with imprisonment at the hands of the Tuscans. Oh, and we met Garza Fwit, played to perfection by Jennifer Beals, while simultaneously learning that Max Rebo lives! My sweet blue baby boy is fine, guys! He made it! Then in Chapter 2, The Tribes of Tatooine, we got an all-new appreciation for the culture of the Tatooine natives as the Tuscans welcomed Boba Fett as one of their own. It's a gorgeous meditation on the power of family, customs, and acceptance, introducing some incredibly badass Tuscan warriors and a trippy sequence involving a lizard and a mysterious tree. Plus, the episode introduced us to live-action Kersantan and the twins, Jabba the Hutt's lovely cousins. A brand new episode of The Book of Boba Fett just dropped yesterday, streaming exclusively on Disney+. More on that next week. And go ahead and check out episode guides, stickers, and other fun extras for The Book of Boba Fett, now available on the official Star Wars app. We didn't 
know quite what to expect when Boba Fett and Fennec Shan first confronted Bib Fortuna and claimed the throne of his former employer in the end credit scene in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. But we've learned a lot, including what it feels like to be trapped inside of a Sarlacc. And with LG OLED's infinite contrast, you won't miss even the tiniest details. Plus, look how thin it is! Now that we're three chapters in, we asked stars Tamora Morrison and Ming-Na Wen to give us a spoiler-free idea of what the series has in store. Here's what they had to say. Fast pace, energy, fresh stories, filling in a void where no man has been before, in some galaxy far, far away. They can yes. get to see Ming-Na do her action and uh. showing off her assassin skills. You'll see a duet of humor and a duo of chemistry. You get to see a lot of sand, apparently, right? <laughs> and more sand. More sand and more sand. Flashbacks. That's what you're going to look forward to. But again, it's about uh, revealing, because we don't know too much about Boba Fett, really. No. And he got an amazing following, a big fan base, just from what he did in those earlier sagas. So it's time to fill in the gaps and take these two on a journey of discovery. And uh, with Robert Rodriguez, John Favreau, Dave Filoni at the helm, surprises. Surprise. Lots of surprises. Even I'm excited to watch the next episode. Sand, sand, and more sand. I'm with you, Tem. I can't wait for the next installment. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.